West Africa. According to international economic statistics, Mali is one of the poorest countries in the world. Therefore, it needs assistance. In order to assist in this endeavor, the Swiss NGO Swiss Contact has implemented the vocational training project since 2000, financed by the Swiss Development Corporation. Ibrahim Maiga of Swiss Contact explains. Swiss Contact uh, a commencé son intervention au Mali il y a une vingtaine d'années. Swiss Contact began its intervention in Mali about 20 years ago in association with craftsmen's organizations to set up a new system of apprenticeship that we call dual or alternance training. Since 1989, Swiss Contact has been in Mali, especially on vocational training projects. One of these projects supports artisans' associations and training centers. Here, students learn all technical aspects of repairing cars and working with materials like iron, or as in this case, wood. The students are mostly unemployed kids from the street, school dropouts, or non-alphabetized youngsters. Here they learn how to become craftsmen, which will provide work, income, stability, and thus change their lives. Nowadays, we cannot do anything without training. To work well, one needs to have good training. Without training, we cannot do anything. Before, we did not always need training because we worked with no structure. But today, thanks to our partner Swiss Contact, we are trained and the quality of our work has improved. To develop the country, the private sector has to be strong and it has to be promoted. This will push the other sectors forward and the country's development as well. That means that our intervention mainly concerns the promotion of the private sector in vocational training. We collaborate with organizations in the private sector so that there are relevant training courses adapted to the market's needs. The vocational training project started first in the artisan sector, but since 2007, Swiss Contact has also supported training in the agricultural sector. The agricultural sector is the main source of subsistence and employs more than 80% of the Malian population. It is thus fundamental for the national economy and the improvement of local livelihoods. We are in the village of Jambala, in the south of the country. Here we see an example of how training and post-training support in the poultry sector contributes to poverty reduction. Swiss Contact accompanies the actors in the mise en œuvre pratique de ce qu'ils ont Swiss Contact assists the actors in the practical implementation of what they have learned during the training and supports them with equipment, other small materials, and with brood cocks. We also provide a specialist to accompany them. Specialist qui les accompagne. Since 2000, the year the Ministry of Vocational Training and Employment was founded, the vocational training system has been supported and financed by the Mali government. This system will provide a qualified workforce for Mali's economy, thus enabling the country to free itself from the trap of poverty. A good example of poverty reduction is demonstrated by the Women's Dyers Cooperative. We are in Dioro, in the Sagu region, in the center of the country. The cooperative has benefited from training in dyeing. As a direct result of the training, the quantity and quality of their production has been considerably improved. This women's cooperative is carrying out its daily activities. They join forces to lead income-generating activities apart from their usual activities. Swiss Contact, in its support for training leading to qualification and improvement of skills, help these women to improve, to work, to try doing something different than what they ordinarily did. These women today have blossomed. They can do many things with their income. They have almost doubled the income that they had before the training because they now have the other sources of activities. They multiplied their activities in the sector of dyeing. Uh, 
Access to technical training has really done some good. Before we became professionals, we were totally dependent on our husbands financially. This, of course, was very often a source of conflict between the spouses. Now we are able to generate our own income through the dying activity. It allows us to contribute to family expenses, to pay the school fees for our children, and to independently take care of our small food expenses. The perspectives of the new phase of the vocational training project in Mali, financed by Swiss Development Corporation and implemented by Swiss Contact, are explained by Ibrahim Maiga. The first thing is an intervention in the agricultural sector, which is really the sector of development in Mali. The second thing is that it is necessary to find better access to financing for the areas not yet addressed. The third thing is that it is necessary to accompany the trained persons for better integration into the workplace. And finally, to concentrate our actions in three geographical areas for better effectiveness.